She was an artist, anthropologist, and writer who is recognized for her anthropological accounts of life in Albania. She is known for her advocacy on behalf of the Albanian cause and her Albanophilia. Her name is Mary Edith Durham. In the annals of history, there are figures whose indomitable spirit and thirst for discovery have forever changed the course of human knowledge and understanding. One such luminary was Mary Edith Durham, a British artist, anthropologist, and writer, whose extraordinary experiences in Albania have left an indelible mark on the world. Born on December 8, 1872, in London, England, Durham's fascination with the Albanian culture and people began during her time at Bedford College and the Royal Academy of Arts, where she developed a deep appreciation for art and anthropology. In the early 1900s, Durham embarked on a remarkable journey to explore the uncharted territories of Albania. Her expeditions took her to various regions, including Trieste, Sednia in Montenegro, and Shkodra in Albania, where she immersed herself in the local customs, traditions, and way of life. Through her keen observations and interactions with the Albanian people, Durham gained a profound understanding of their struggles and aspirations. Durham's work went beyond mere documentation. She became a passionate advocate for the Albanian cause, championing their rights and raising awareness about their unique cultural heritage. Her writings and lectures shed light on the socio-political challenges faced by the Albanian people, particularly under the influence of the Yugoslav state. Durham's dedication to the Albanian cause earned her the devotion of many Albanians, who consider her a national heroine. Her anthropological accounts, such as High Albania and The Burden of the Balkans, became seminal works in the field, providing valuable insights into the Albanian society and helping to dispel misconceptions held by the outside world. Mary Edith Durham's expeditions and advocacy have had a profound impact on the world, transcending borders and inspiring the hearts of scholars, anthropologists, and Albanians alike. As we reflect upon her contributions to the understanding of Albanian culture and the struggles faced by its people, we are reminded of a woman whose name stands tall among history's great explorers and advocates, Mary Edith Durham, a visionary whose legacy continues to ignite the flames of curiosity, empathy, and cultural appreciation in all who dare to explore the unknown. After the death of her father, Edith took on the responsibilities of caring for her sick mother for several years. It proved to be an exhausting experience, and when she was 37, her doctor recommended a foreign vacation to recuperate. Edith embarked on a trip by sea down the coast of Dalmatia, traveling from Trieste to Cotere and then overland to Sednia, the capital of Montenegro. This journey gave her a taste for southern Balkan life, a fascination that would endure throughout her life. Upon her return to London, Edith enrolled at Bedford College, where she studied the Serbian language and the history of the Balkan region. Her passion for the Balkans led her on extensive travels, with the goal of writing her first book, Through the Lands of the Serbs, published in London in 1904. This marked the beginning of her exploration and documentation of the Balkan region. In 1908, Edith wrote, High Albania, after a journey through the Albanian highlands, starting from Montenegro and ending in Shkodra. This book provided a unique insight into the customs and society of northern Albania's highlands, making it her most renowned work. Over the next two decades, she dedicated herself to the study of Albania, which was then one of the most isolated and undeveloped areas of Europe. During the Balkan Wars of 1911-13, Edith actively assisted Albanian refugees in Montenegro. She raised funds for medicine, food, and aided wounded soldiers, demonstrating her commitment to the well-being of the people she encountered. Edith's dedication to the Balkan region earned her recognition and respect, leading her to become a fellow of the Royal Anthropological Institute and a frequent contributor to the journal, Man. Throughout her expeditions, Edith not only documented the customs and society of the Balkans but also engaged in relief work, painting, and collecting folklore and folk art. Her contributions to the understanding of the Balkan region continue to be highly regarded, with High Albania remaining a preeminent guide to the traditions and way of life in the highlands of northern Albania. If you want to discover more adventurers on YouTube, make sure to hit that subscribe button for my channel, and don't forget to leave a comment in the section below, telling us which adventurers you'd like us to feature next.